Doug Gottlieb, Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, Brian Gumbel, uh, and Greg Anthony were on the set giving you the Sweet 16 preview when Doug Gottlieb dropped this one-liner. Cream rising to the crop. I don't know why you guys asked me. I'm just here to bring diversity to this set here. Give the kind of white man's perspective on things. Okay. Point guard position. No? Fishing. <laughs> fishing. Okay, just check it. Okay, so a lot of people are going crazy about this, especially on Twitter, which seems like the venting machine. Me personally, I thought it was just awkward. I don't think he needs to be fired. I don't think that everyone should go this crazy over it. He was joking. And guess what? They like to have fun on this set. Gottlieb tried to have fun, he failed. Should we give him a second chance? Sure, why not? I don't care. I mean, actually I'd like to see what the, um, what the tenets of everyone's arguments are on why he should be fired. I don't know if they're saying that or suspended, what, what level of, of punishment they're looking to get for this guy. But, the um, tweets don't say anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's just, it's just rage. I mean, yeah, his punishment was the awkwardness of the set of his colleagues looking at him like, what the hell does that mean? Yeah, but then at the end, Charles Barkley was like, yeah, we'll get you back. And yeah. like then it was like, okay, whatever. Like who cares? Because the thing is, I was I was looking for the reason behind it being whatever they may be calling it. What do they call it? Racist, I assume. Because I don't, I white don't know. Was put in. I don't know. Um, there has to be something you're targeting. He just said, I'm looking to give the white guy's perspective, and that's lame. And it's not a funny joke, and doesn't. I don't even know what the hell it means. No, I don't either. So that's why it fell flat. Because at least because these guys who talk trash and joke all the time, Barkley and those guys. There's, there's a message behind the trash talking. What, what's the message behind it? Totally. Maybe he started with something off air that he said before. Who knows? But it is, since it doesn't make any sense and his joke fell flat in his face also on the ground, there's well, you your saw, punishment. You saw Greg Gumbel like, <laughs> like look around. Like it was just awkward. Like isn't that enough punishment that he made an ass out of himself <laughs> like, on national TV? He's like, anybody? Anybody? Yeah. He, this, this is what he did. White man's perspective. <laughs> Was it funny? Was it funny? No, it wasn't funny. It sucked. <laughs> so whatever, let's move on. Every one thing that someone says on a broadcast like this doesn't change anything. It doesn't perpetuate any stereotype. It doesn't. But put it's under anyone, a harsh microscope. It too. doesn't put anyone down. Like as long you have to look at the reason why you're upset. You're upset just because you heard a couple words or because they mean something. They have to mean something, and most of them do. Which is why I'm on board a lot of times with with at least with I like educating people on why you're so stupid because it's based <laughs> in ignorance. And it didn't, I didn't find anything in what he said to be based in any ignorance that he's perpetuating and putting anyone else down. That's really the basis for why you want to get it's He was putting down white people is what he was doing, okay? I feel put, no, I'm just kidding. Here's, here's what Barkley said. He made a joke earlier tonight. All those people on Twitter who are going crazy, which I never, ever do, and that's true, he doesn't. Listen, me, me, Kenny, Greg Anthony, and Greg Gumbel didn't take that personally. So all you people at home who have got no life who are talking bad about Doug Gottlieb, get a life. It's no big deal. So clearly they don't even care. So why, like, why are people so pissed off about this? Uh, many people have nothing else to do. That's true. And once they're on Twitter, it becomes people's lives. That's like their connection to the world because they sit in front of their computer and don't do anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do that too here. But there's a reason behind it. If, if, you're, if you're just on the computer, you need to get upset. You can find many other things to get upset about. But there's nothing to be me. upset about. Like, that's what I have. That's, a, that's, a, that's my problem with this. There's nothing to be upset about. Again, I'm open to any, anyone who has an explanation as to why this was. I don't know what, the, again, and what the term, first what it was, and then why it is what that term is, because I can't find either one of them. Okay, so here's, here's the last question, then we'll let you get to the morning meeting. Do you think that he should go for another white joke? You know what? Do yeah. it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, dude? <laughs> you have nowhere else to go but up. <laughs> Considering he falls flat on his fucking face. <laughs> Start from the bottom. Start from the bottom. He has a long ways to go, but he can turn it around. Now we're here. Yeah, started from the bottom, and Gottlieb's still at the bottom.